All right, hello friends, family, and fans. This is Zombie Zero with ZTech, and I find myself here in Jerome, Arizona. This is a very famous and popular ghost town here in Arizona. There's all kinds of interesting historical things to see. Check out this old wonderful building here. This building behind me has horror movie written all over it. And you know what? I don't think there's any amount of money that would convince me to spend the night in this house. <laughs> Not at all. Let's get into the zombie zone. Jerome is an old copper mining town located on Cleopatra Hill overlooking the Verde Valley here in Arizona. It's about 100 miles north of Phoenix along State Route 89A between Sedona and Prescott. In its heyday, it was home to more than 10,000 people in the 1920s supported by the rich copper mines. In the 1950s, it became one of the West's largest ghost towns and it's now a designated National Historic District. And the town has gained new life as an artist colony and tourist attraction. forgot my trademark find the local cold brew coffee and I did just that here at Coppertown coffee and gelato and I have in my possession some of their cold brew coffee pretty good stuff nice and tasty and surprisingly a small is only three dollars and fifty cents which is definitely the cheapest coffee I have ever had doing these travel videos not bad it's a local small coffee shop, pretty cool. Definitely recommend it, check it out. All right, so just looking around, I found Haunted Hamburger. The building is right here behind me, and of course I was planning on having lunch here. I heard some of the locals say that Haunted Hamburger is nothing but a tourist trap. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures of it, but I'll probably find some place else to eat. The United Verde Hospital was constructed in 1926. It featured patient call lights, balconies, sun porches, and emergency backup lighting. There was also an Otis self-service elevator that is still in use today. The hospital contained laboratories, x-ray machines, major and minor surgical facilities. In 1930, it was considered the most modern hospital in Arizona and possibly the Western states. The building was closed in 1950 and was never used as a hospital again. It remained vacant and unused for decades until it was purchased in the 1990s. The new owner converted the building to the famous Jerome Grand Hotel, which features the award-winning Asylum Restaurant. Is this hotel haunted? There have been many ghost hunters who have spent the night in this hotel and claim to have found evidence of supernatural activity. In addition, in the 1980s, one of the caretakers was found dead inside of the hotel from an apparent suicide. So of course, I do plan on returning to Jerome and spending the night at this hotel. And I ask the question, who will join me? 
So I wasn't gonna eat a haunted hamburger, but I just passed by it and it smells absolutely fabulous. So much so that uh, I'm really seriously thinking about going in there. I mean, it smells really good. Now it is a very cold, overcast, and gloomy day here in Jerome, which is pretty cool because it adds to the mysteriousness and ghostness of this old town. However, it's really not good for taking pictures, photography, and of course video. But I'll do the best I can. So I'm here on a Wednesday, and this is a good time to visit because there's plenty of parking. On the weekends, it can get extremely crowded and parking is difficult to find. Parking, uh, they have some pay parking here, which is about $5. But if you do come here, be prepared to do some walking. This is on the side of a hill, so there's a lot of walking up and down the side of this mountain. One thing I noticed about this place, it's not really restroom friendly. Restrooms are hard to find. Now right next to the fire department is the New State Motor Company. They have some nice clean restrooms in there and also some very cool, interesting and almost disturbing artwork. It's all free. You just walk in there, it's nice and warm. They got an old fashioned car in there. Uh, a lot of local artwork and novelty items for your trip here in Jerome. So I gotta tell you, Haunted Hamburger is really good. I broke down there, I got the Ghost Burger, which was fantastic. But this hamburger was incredible. We're talking onions, pickles, lettuce, tomato, guacamole, bacon. How can that be a bad hamburger? Anyways, I really enjoyed it. It was a very good, tasty burger. Almost worth the trip up here. All right, so there you have it, my scouting trip here in Jerome. This has been a very productive trip. It was a lot of fun bringing the camera out here, and just taking pictures, video, talking to some of the locals. It was great fun. All right, so once again, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in my next video where I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna be staying at the haunted Jerome Grand Hotel. It's gonna be an epic trip. So, I hope to see you on my next shoot. The Zombie Zero, out.